In the new uh, clubs for run sign up, we have the capability to have coaching clubs. Um, and you enable that by uh, being in the wizard and uh, just clicking on that and uh, hitting save down below. Um, once you do that, when you're in uh, the members tab, uh, there's two things to, uh, to, to do here. One is uh, clicking on categories and you can set different categories that you can put your runners into. Um, and so uh, like in my case, I have a high school cross country team and we have a high mileage group, a mid mileage group and a low mileage group. Uh, you might have an orange team, a red team, and a green team, or, or something like that. But what this allows you to do is to make running assignments um, based upon uh, a group of people, right? So, so here's the high mileage people, and what I can do is I can add an assignment for, um, you know, this Friday, and I can say, oh, uh, the high mileage guys are all going to run 10 miles, um, and I can uh, uh, put uh, easy pace um, there. Um, I could add an assignment for Saturday, and we're going to run eight miles, but we're going to do uh, you know twelve times four hundred on the track, um, and save that. So um, so you can make all these uh, sorts of things now. What happens is that anybody that's associated with the high mileage group is then sees that as their assignment for the week, um, and uh, and you can do multiple weeks and and things like that, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can really kind of lay out what um, what your totals are going to be here for the weekly assignments and and things like that. Um, and then uh, this can be set up such that it can email the, uh, the people in that what their assignments are, or they can log in um, to the system and see what their assignments are. And then what you can do is as a coach, you can log the run for your whole category segment. So I could say that, yeah, we actually did run 10 miles and we ran it at uh, 720 pace. Um, and uh, have that all done. So, um, so that's pretty uh, pretty nice um, functionality that you can keep track of. And then what happens is if the coach is logging that, that would also appear in the runner's log themselves. Now, if I don't want to do it by category, or maybe I want to do it by category and then go into the individuals, now I can move and shift to the individuals and uh, and. Um, you can see how I have a whole bunch of people here. Um, I can, uh, you know, assign them uh, different things um, as I uh, as I want to. So if I want to search for somebody, I can search for Bickle, and um, I, I can see that Bob is uh, um, has done some logs in here and things like that. Um, so that's uh, that's how that works. Um, as an individual, um, my profile looks messy because I have a bunch of uh, things that I test here, but um, there's a button for my running logs. And so as an individual, I can go in and I can uh, do my own running logs. And uh, so I can um, move to a different week and I can put in that, oh, I ran, uh, you know, four miles at, you know, a 10 pace because I was feeling kind of crappy um, and I can save that. Um, I can also set preferences as an individual and I can uh, say when my week starts and whether my unit's going to be in uh, miles or kilometers or meters or whatever. Save preferences.